Hello world! Introducing another princess turning myself into. <laughs> what am I talking about? So, um, I've been wanting to make a skirt that is like pleated. If you watch, and it's not if you watch, but if you know, um, again, I'm Vietnamese, but for some weird reason, I like Japanese and Korean clothes. So you know the people who do kendama, you know, with the stick and the head thingy. So they wear something like this. I forgot the name. It's called hakata or something like that. But anyway, there the skirt thing is pleated. And Korean, they have the handbook is pleated skirt too. But they have this smaller lines right, very big, and I don't want it to be that big. I do it. Hi. Where are you going? Where did you go with? Did you wanna say hi? Did you wanna say hi? Huh? Did you don't wanna say hi? I don't wanna say hi. Oh, okay. Leave me alone. That's what he said. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. All right. Leave me alone. Huh? Okay then. Anyway, so yeah, so I always wanna make a skirt like that. So yeah, obviously watching a lot of YouTube and whatnot. So finally, I just kind of came up with my own, but obviously like learning from the people, but like being a little creative and just kind of do my thing a little bit, right, Toaster? That's what I like to do, right? So instead of this one is very big, I make it smaller. Instead of like wide like this, I make it like, I would say like three fifths. Or two thirds, I don't know. Smaller, not as wide, and not as long. I mean, it's long enough to pass my knees, right, Tosta? To pass my knees, but I don't want it to be too long because, you know, when you go to the bathroom and stuff, <laughs> I don't want it to be too long. But it's like wrapped in a way. So you, even though the wind blowing, you cannot see nothing. There is nothing for you to see. What do you want to see? What do you want to see? Miss Alex, she is so creative. Anyway, so yeah, I am pretty happy with how it turned out. I wouldn't say very happy because obviously I don't know what I'm doing. I'm self-taught, so most of the time I don't know what I'm doing. But it's pretty good like that. Turn out pretty good like that. And even if I get fatter, which I don't think I will be ever fatter, but I always want to gain 20 pounds more. I'm 100 pounds. 5 feet 3, 100 pounds. I want to be 120 pounds. It's easier for me to buy clothes, you know. When you're so skinny, it's just clothes. Just, you're just swimming in the clothes. Just everything is falling on you all the time. Anyway, so yeah. So I'm pretty happy with how it turns out like that. So uh, the fabric I bought from Joanne, if you can see, you can tell, it's uh, Joanne right here. Joanne, designed exclusively for Joanne, and I bought like what, what if, whatever left over on the uh, the thingy they sell over there. So I don't know how how long this thing is, but I'm sure it's pretty long because half. Oh, but it's very long. But anyway, so yeah. So that's why even if it's just, just blowing, wind blowing like crazy, you're not going to see nothing. <laughs> this is all the thing you're going to see. Huh? Smart people, we know better. We don't want to show stupid stuff. We just want to show what we want to show, which is our talent. <laughs> Stop rambling about nonsense, Miss Alex. You're talking crazy all the time. Why do you always talk crazy all the time? So I really like the pattern on the fabric. It's like kind of a rainbow thing, but it's not like stupid rainbow. You know, looking like in your face, stupid rainbow thing. But it's very nice blending color combination, whatever that thing is. Whoever did this is very talented. Kudos to the designer to do this. For Joanne, good for you. You have an eye for colors, and 
you know, stuff. Yeah, so anyway, I really like it. I like colorful stuff. And even though this one is very colorful, obviously, but it's not like, it's not like something like in your eyes, you know, just, just punching you in your face. <laughs> so yeah, I really like it. It's popping, obviously, but it's not like in your face. Well, maybe because it's a skirt, so it's down here. It's not like up there, which I'm, I just, I just, you want to see my stupid face? Here it goes. <laughs> okay, because, because. It's uh, been New Year's, right? So I've been, I sleep anytime I want to. I get up anytime I want to. And uh, yesterday, no, New Year's Eve, for the first time in over 20 years, I stay up late up until like four something in the morning. And uh, you know, you think I was waiting for the ball drop in New York? No, and nobody got time for that. I was trying to finish up a Korean drama series, uh, Catching the Ghost. It's pretty okay. It could be better, but it's not that bad. So anyway, so I look like crazy. I just got out from the shower. And because, yeah, I've been not really taking care of my facial skin. Because like I said, I get up anytime I want to. I go to sleep anytime I want to. So there's no routine and stuff. So my skin is like, hey. You know, H-A-Y is really bad. So I just want to put this thing on. I should have put this thing on at least every other day or something. But it's been a while to, to use this face mask thingy to soften my hey, hey face. My goodness. Um. Yeah, anyway, so I made this one all day today. Pretty much I got up. Like, obviously, and then made this one because this is part of the things that I want to do for my winter break. So it took me, I would say the most, that it's to make the pretty part, that is the, it took the most time. But this thing, yeah, it takes some time too. But anyway, this one takes the most of the time. Um, I wouldn't say it's very hard to make it. No, it's very easy, pretty simple. It just takes a lot of time. Which I do have a lot of time and patience. Why? Because I'm a teacher. If I don't have patience, what do I have? I don't got nothing. If you are not a patient person, person, there will be no way you can be a teacher. Because, yeah, that is the first requirement to be a teacher is you got to have a lot of patience. You got to have a lot of patient people. Anyway, so yeah. There you go, my, I think this is my third product for winter break. It took me probably six hours total to make this thing. And I am pretty happy with this thing. My face, oh my goodness, looking like a crazy. I got a head cut to make it shorter because, um, anyway, so for some weird reason, they cannot get the short haircut right here. Out of Texas, Ohio, and Indiana, they just make me look more stupid. <laughs> I need a good short haircut, but I don't know who can make the good short haircut every time I look like a stupid person. Anyway, yeah. Happy 2022. Get the vaccine, wear the mask, do the right thing. I just wait for... Japan to open doors and then hopefully I got really good luck to enter Japan. So, Japan, please take me in. Please take me in. I love you very much. So that's why I've been coming back for three times total visiting your country now. Okay, anyway, enough of the rambling. Wear the vaccine. I mean, not, not wear the vaccine. Get the vaccine. Get the booster. Wear the mask. Take care of yourself and one another. Be creative. Do something so you can be proud of yourself. They say the beginners might because obviously when you do something that you don't know, you're just figuring things out so the beginners might. Zen Buddhism. I'm not a Buddhist, but I know about that because I watch a person call. Ocean Vuong, he's an, uh, a poet, and he talks about it. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so, yeah. On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous is his book, and he talked about Zen Buddhism. The beginner's mind is how you learn something from the beginning. Uh, it teaches you to be, you know, humble and stuff. So, yeah, anyway. 
enough of the rambling. Happy 2022, people! Just take care of yourself and one another. Alright? Bye!